Hello friends, so in this video, I will be talking about the stochastic gradient descent. Basically, what does it mean? In the last videos, I've already explained about uh, what is linear regression, what is best uh, fit of line, and why do we want to use that, and what, how does that make sense? But uh, in this video, I will be talking that how we are using a stochastic gradient descent for the linear regression optimization, though it can be used for other algorithms as well, but we, we are just now discussing about the stochastic gradient descent a simple case in the linear regression we we already told we discussed that we have two kinds of uh, parameters one is slope which is this one and the other is uh, intercept so it is y is equal to mx plus c and we want to find the slope and the intercept values by using the stochastic gradient descent so let's let's say we have only for the simplest case let's say we have only one parameter let's say it is slope so we already discussed for the cost function for the linear regression is this one in the last video and this is like uh, actual values minus predicted values of y square it for each of the data points and add them and uh, divide by the total number of data points that is total number of rows total number of observations okay now so let's take so we know that predicted now if you see this cost function this cost function is basically the error which we want to minimize and if you see then this cost function msc that is function of all these values we see n n is the data points numbers that is fixed so we cannot change that now yi is the actual value data points so that is also fixed because the data is given that is fixed but this predicted line is not fixed predicted line is keep on changing as we keep on change the parameters the slope and the intercept so we can say that cost function msc here is a function of slope and is also a function of the intercept here we are assuming that intercept is let's say uh, we are neglecting that intercept is let's say it is constant so only uh, now the cost function becomes only a function of single variable single parameter that is the slope and now if you want to plot this you will see that it is a function of some variable square we know that is a equation of a parabola so in the y axis we are plotting this cost function in the x axis we are plotting this uh, parameter not the y but the parameter which is the slope so w is the slope here we let's say w is a slope so the cost function is a function of slope and it is quadratic in nature like it's parabolic and from here it the stochastic gradient descent begins so we can see that as the parameter w changes the cost function changes but we want the minimized value of msc minimized value of cost function how do we get that we want to get this value but how do we reach how do we know that this because we do not know that at this point of uh, at this place we have the minimum cost function we can only know when when we plot all these values but we are not using this 3d geometry and visualizing and then seeing that this at this point and that we are getting the lowest cost function what we will do is we will randomly initialize some parameter this slope let's say we started from this algorithm is started from this what the algorithm will do is at this point it will find a slope of cost function with respect to parameter w so it is like derivative of j with respect to w it is here derivative of cost function with respect to slope so if you see on the right hand side means from this center on the right hand side you see the tangent will be always be slope will always be positive on the left side the slope will be negative so we started from here let's say this is the initial value now we want to reach here how we will reach there so we will find the slope here we know the slope is negative up from here we can either go up or we can either go down but if we use this formula m nu so we have we this m nu is this point what we are doing is we are minus we are subtracting learning rate is actually how fast you want to move on this curve how, how fast you want to reach the bottom point there are also pros and cons that if you choose very high and if you choose very low there are pros and cons that i will explain later in other videos 
let this is just uh, how fast you are moving in, across the curve so m grad is actually the slope it is the slope of a slope of cost function with respect to m that is the slope so this m grad is the slope and if it is negative then this m nu becomes negative and then negative again that becomes positive that means this m will be the new m will be more than this m nu so if m grad that means the slope is positive then this new this one will be if m grad is negative then negative negative becomes positive so m nu will be positive so if we are here slope is negative due to which the new m value will, will be more than the initial value old value and then new value will be more so we, if we are here we will go towards this because we are moving because as we move towards the right axis if we move from left to right new values will be more of slope as we go from right to left m nu will decrease that, that means w will decrease so if we are on the right hand side we get the slope as positive and negative and positive becomes negative so new m will be little less than the initial value so if we start from here the, the in the second in the second iteration we will come here in the third iteration we will come here in the fourth iteration we will come here because we are decreasing the w values we are decreasing the slope values but if we start from here again this formula we have the slope negative so negative negative positive learning rate is always positive so only m grade is positive or negative so if this is positive then be, this becomes this minus something if this is negative then this becomes this minus something so you have to take it if you are here then m grade is negative 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 positive then m nu will be more than this one initial value so if we start from here we will go towards here we'll start from here we will go toward here and in this way stochastic gradient descent we can come near to this value but i was saying that why if learning rate is very high what will happen if learning rate is very high let's say m nu is some value which is here now you have m grad which is positive so minus and plus becomes minus so you that is sure that you have to go towards left because this will decrease m but how much it will decrease that will depend on the learning rate if you make it very large then from here it might not go here or here or here. it might go the other side and then it go again the other side and then it will keep on jumping and it will never come here so you have to keep the learning rate optimal so that the moves are not very very slow and also not very fast that they don't reach here instead they just keep on jumping from here left to right and left to right and they don't come here so learning rate has to be optimal so what are the grad values that i will explain if you find the derivative of this one with because y i had that is the predicted value that is a function of slope and intercept so if you divide this cost function with respect to slope and if you divide the uh, cost function with respect to intercept you get the gradient for both the parameters and these are the gradients this is for slope and this is for intercept here the b is also b is intercept so, and m is slope so this is what so xi is the elements of the x values and y are the uh, y elements y1 y2 y3 y4 x1 x2 x3 and you will take the sum for all the data points and mxi plus b is completely is the predicted predicted values y predicted okay so we will implement this thing we will find the gradient we will find the gradient for the intercept as well and then we will do the iteration how many iterations we want means 10 iterations or 20 or 1000 or we want to reach this point so we will take some iterations we will see in the next video how the parameter of slope and intercept will reach in the minimum here we just take the slope as a parameter but if we have slope and uh, intercept both as a parameter then this becomes a three-dimensional figure 
same thing happens it goes from up and it comes down but there we have the derivative of both and it takes the movement in such a way that it reaches the minimum so in the next video we will discuss that coding part thanks for watching